The results in Tuesday's runoff sent a shockwave through Republican ranks nationwide. I think we're seeing a transformation because I think the Rep Republican Party is getting back to the principles we should have stood for. Ted Cruz has never been elected to public office, but the Princeton debate champ and Harvard law grad is now heavily favored to replace retiring Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison. I couldn't do it, but you could. Yeah! Cruz trounced Texas Lieutenant Governor of nine years David Dewhurst by 13 points. He did it with the backing of such Tea Party favorites as Sarah Palin and Rick Santorum, and with a fiery brand of conservative populism. Tonight is a victory for the grassroots. Do you feel as though Congress is better or worse off the way it's working with those Tea Party members there? I think it is much, much better off, but I think it is a transition that's only halfway complete. 2010 was the first step. Right now, they can't do anything. As long as Harry Reid and the Democrats control the U.S. Senate, very little is going to get accomplished. The 41-year-old Cruz is making his first bid for elected office. He's a one-time Ivy League debating champion whose father left Cuba during the Castro Revolution. Now the son has scored the latest in a string of Tea Party triumphs in U.S. Senate primaries this year. In Indiana, longtime Senator Richard Lugar lost a Tea Party favorite, Richard Murdoch, in May's Republican primary. And in Nebraska, Deb Fisher beat the state's attorney general for the Republican Senate nomination there. They've become major factors in a year when Senate races in at least eight states are considered toss-ups, and Republicans are bidding to win control of the Senate. Um, going forward, if Republicans were to gain the Senate majority, I think that governing would be difficult for Republicans uh, because you have this faction that is going to be against what some of the more moderate or mainstream Republicans are going to be for and pushing for. So are you talking about gov government even more divided than it is today? I think it's it's like what Ross was saying, that even if we're, there, there are divisions within the Republican Party in Washington as well as Texas, that Republicans may have a Senate majority in 2013, but it's going to be hard to get major legislation passed because of a divide on what exactly should be done going forward.